Some issues with my microphone earlier, so if it sounds like way too low, you guys let me know. Or if anything, as usual, looks messed up. So how's everybody doing tonight? All right. Um. But yeah, uh, tonight we are going to be looking at, if you couldn't tell from the title, Harvester. Probably never even heard of that game, I bet. It is a bit more of an obscure title from the 90s, an adventure game, much in the uh, same vein as like something like I played not long ago, Phantasmagoria, but it's a little bit, well, from what I remember, it's a little bit faster pace. Um, I don't know if it has quite as much FMV stuff going on. It might. I can't remember. There, it's part of it. It is It is uh, FMV, though, like like that one was, but it's also that whole, you know, adventure game format that I've been playing a lot of on this channel. Coffee. It's the nectar of the gods. And don't laugh at my flower coffee uh, coffee mug. Anyway, um, before we get started, check out the other content on my channel. I am still releasing um, something every single day, except for Saturdays. That's my day off. And uh, let's see, uh, tomorrow I got, uh, as per usual after these streams, I have the next in line for my video game movie review list, which is Max Payne. I think I said that that was going to be last week. I was incorrect. It was actually Far Cry. I was kind of uh, disappointed because I was looking forward to watching Max Payne. Um, I don't remember Max Payne being a great movie, but I did remember it probably being better than Far Cry was, which I had not seen. And hey... What do you know? Both of them weren't really that great. But anyway, that comes out tomorrow. Um, uh, an American Pickle. That's a like an actual new movie. Um, like a big new movie. Uh, that should be dropping on Friday if all works out to plan. And uh, another movie called Pay Dirt, which is kind of... I'll, I'll probably be doing that one, but I've got another one. I've got three other reviews already shot, edited, and ready to go. Uh, two of which are actually uploaded to the site as of now. They're just not released to everybody. I haven't opened them up. Um, one of them, I'm just looking for a time to to put it out there when I have a I, I need a, a video. <laughs> I haven't had it. It's not a very big movie. But um, earlier this week, I did review two movies that you guys should definitely check out. One being called Mortal, and another one called Coma. Uh, those were both fucking awesome movies. Um, I can't really say which. Uh, they're very different movies. Uh, both of them deal with powers and stuff like that, but in totally different ways. Um, Mortal is a Norwegian-American movie, so the vast majority of it is in English, but there is a little bit of uh, Norwegian spoken in it, and it's subtitled. But the vast majority of the movie is in English. And uh, yeah, that, that movie was really cool, and I loved where it went. And as much as I would love to see where it goes after the credits roll, I don't think we ever will. I think it's it's... It's a one and done, but uh, Coma was is a Russian movie that's dubbed. I guess you get subtitled too, but I watched the dubbed version. The dub was actually really good, um, and that movie was fucking awesome. And it's like a the world is like a mix between Doctor Strange and Inception's world, um, with a bunch of other like stuff. That motherfucking dog. I don't know if you guys can hear him. If 
fucking barking. That bitch won't ever... Oh, shut the fuck up. Anyway, we're not going to talk about the dog. I'm just going to try and ignore it and it'll go away. Um, But yeah, check those two movies out. Anyway, let's get started here. Who do we got? We got uh, two people in here. I saw a third come in and then they left. <laughs> they probably heard me talking about some nonsense and said, what the fuck is going on here? Uh, let's see, who all's in here? Nobody's in the chat yet. Oops, I just closed my chat. I am uh, continuing like I did last week where I have uh, my chat open in a separate window, so I will be able to communicate with you guys easier. There we go. All right. Okay, well, let's go ahead and jump right in and get this show on the road. Um, close that. And get Harvester stuff. Uh-oh. Let me close this. I've got all this shit open on my computer that, that I didn't realize uh, was here. was open and it's going to chug things down. Oh, okay, cool. All right, here we go. Harvester. Uh, Harvester, like I said, it is, I guess, uh, best described as an adventure game. But it's also, uh, it does fall in that full motion video game uh arena as well um not quite as much as some of the other ones i've played on this channel but it, it it has a good bit of it but it's really fucking weird man this game is really strange and uh it's pretty fucking twisted from what i remember um it's a dos game so i'm running it through dos box merit studios i don't remember them for shit Oops, I skipped it accidentally. Oh, well. Harvest, population of 51. That, there ain't, there's no fucking town that has 51 people in it. Not that it has as much shit as this game, this town does. Look at all the, oh, hang on. Well, that's not really showing much. Look, we got houses. Hang on, it shows it in a minute. It's got like a whole fucking school. The kids of 51 people wouldn't fit in that one fucking classroom. So 51 seems a bit light to me. And how about these special effects? Well, these these graphics. That's that when they're in games. When it's in a game, they call it graphics. When it's in a movie, it's special effects. I vaguely remember... Ooh, a little bit of gore. I vaguely remember the... Uh, are we not picking up the audio to this? Are you guys not hearing the audio to the game? Anybody, anybody, anybody? I don't think you are. Let's pause for a second. Come over here. Um. It should be. Oh shit, I see what happened. Whoops! I had it turned way down. Okay, here we go. Or is that the game? The game is in six. I wouldn't be surprised if the game was in six forty p. All right, and here it is, Harvester. We jump right into it. No menus or, or 
whatever. My mic is super low. Is it super low now? I don't know. Let me know. Because I'm looking at my levels, and it looks like... Because I was having mic issues earlier. And, I mean, compared to, like, the game audio, I should be, like, a lot higher than it. So, let me know if it's still low. I think it sounds okay. I mean, it looks okay. The music is over the mic. Ah, well, that's a problem. What's up, Terrific? So let's turn that music down. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my mic, man. It's it's uh it was working it's working fine with my cam. I use the same mic with my camera for my reviews and stuff. And uh, hang on a second. But yeah, I use the same mic for my reviews and stuff. Let's turn that one down just a little bit. And uh. It works fine there, and I've always used it on these streams. But then the other night, I had to do a uh, a thing over Skype with another YouTuber, and there we go. Maybe that's better. And ever since then, I had some issues when I first uh, got on, and it wasn't registering my mic. It was acting weird. And I mean, I've replaced the battery. Check out the connection. It's just been acting really fucking weird. I don't know why. So I'm going to have to troubleshoot it at some point. I thought I had gotten it fixed. But today I had to like... On OBS I had to go in and like... Jack the uh, sound... The output of the mic up like way high. Anyway. How about Harvester? Harvester gameplay tips. Left click on an object to grab it. And right click to put it into inventory. Yeah, yeah. Exit show tips on next. Next. A penny saved is hardly worth the effort. <laughs> That's a great tip. <laughs> Use the left mouse button to move your character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this stuff. Be stuck on a puzzle. Look at the characters. Avoid cliches like the plague. Yes, yes. Ammunition is precious. Don't waste it. If you suck. Okay, we're gonna. Ex I'm gonna exit these. All right. Just like any other point-and-click adventure, which is essentially what this is. We're gonna look around the room. Um. Oh. Okay, I can punch. What's that say? Oh, Paper Doll by the Mills Brothers sits in... Oh, okay. That's a record player. Um, Handful of... You know, is there anything in here I can pick up? I'm not going to bore you guys with clicking on every little fucking thing. What's over here? Oh, not shit. Uh... I think there's... The dresser drawer is unlocked. Okay. Well, that's weird. Why didn't it just open it? Ooh, what do we got here? We got a pen. Shoe marks are visible in the end of the ballpoint. Okay, great. 25 cent piece, 1952. It's weird that you got to click on it before you can pick it up. You... That's weird. What is that shit? I guess that's it. So I got some money and a pen. Hell yeah. I'm, 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 I'm well on my way. Oh, exit. Alright, I don't see anything else in here I need to get. I hope we don't end up with, uh, like, Phantasmagoria gets to the end of the game and I'm missing, like, one thing. <laughs> Can't even beat the fucking game with. Look at the way that fucker walks. Alright. Hey, we got three people here now. Yay. Does my mic sound better now? Is it, am I still being drowned out by the music of the game, the game audio, or is everything working out good? You guys, let me know in the chat. Um, what do we got here? Let's talk to this kid. What? What? Was that? Oh, that's just like a still shot. This does have full motion video, I promise. I don't remember it being stills like that. Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, talking to me? Only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm trying to watch my cowboy I'm show. Look, Man. I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. <laughs> Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. You always were a kidder, Steve. 
Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sick. Now I get it, Alvin. <laughs> You're such a kidder. <laughs> now I get it. Look at you. Look at the big brain on Alvin with those memories. I couldn't remember that shit. I vaguely remember playing this game. I was probably stoned out of my mind when I played it. Let's see. Cowboy show. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? It is like the well, 50s I, or something, isn't it? I think I've seen a colored television before. Have Damn. not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. <laughs> look at this that face. This is part of history. What made America great. <laughs> and besides, <laughs> what made guts Make needed. America great again. <laughs> cowboy. Cowboy shows. Little kids shouldn't watch this violence. You're right. This is really neat. Hells yeah. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Sick cowboy show. This is what's this. What's wrong with mm. you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. <laughs> this kid's psycho. I'm telling you, he's fucking psycho. Ooh, I can type stuff in here? Oh! Say what? Really? Come on, that's the best you got. Um... Oh, did it not type? Okay. Say what? Really? What the fuck is the point of this if I can't tell somebody to fuck off and go to hell? Alvin says, more balance now. I'm assuming you mean like the sound. Cool. Good. Awesome. Uh... Uh, Alright. Well, okay. Bye, kid. Good. Good. Bye. Let's see. Examine the TV. Old-fashioned console television. Mm. I don't think I can pick up anything in here. Master bedroom door is firmly locked. Turn up in there. <laughs> I think you gotta go in here to talk to the mom. Uh. <laughs> oh. What's these? A full box of newspapers. Ah! What did I do? Why did I go out? Examine your inventory. Who's this? Oh, I remember this kid. I think this kid shoots you at hey, some Steve, point. Hey, Steve, I'm Jamie James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Shouldn't he be... What? Shouldn't he be dropping the paper off? Uh, I got better things to do. I'm supposed to. I don't remember. Let's go. I got better things to do, bitch. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. <laughs> How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? I don't, you don't put the punk. paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Everything That's will be Jake. all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Uh, sure. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out no. they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Fuck yeah. Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. First the keys, then the sneakers. Nuh-uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, forget it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers. And that's that. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. 
Where's... Okay. Do I gotta give this kid that paper? Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. <laughs> you just keep doing that and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? So, yeah, you just keep on doing that. We won't have no problem. Why the fuck am I putting a paper out? I thought the paper, like, came... That doesn't make any fucking sense. Why am I putting a paper out? Whatever. Let's go back in. I'm going to talk to my mom. Oh, shit. I hit eight. Is that... What? I guess I exit this room. <laughs> I ba Ooh, there's a baby. Newborn is sleeping soundly. Ha! Newborns don't do that. Is there anything... Fireman Sparky Super Foamy Fire Extinguisher. Can I take it? No. Examine the trash. Freshly baked cookies are in the trash can. Cookies are baking in the oven. Well, hello there. How Ooh, about some that cookies? Crazy. There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. <laughs> until you need your socks washed. No, you don't, I don't understand. You. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant Ryan, your feet on the ground. Ryan, what were you watching so us here that's again? My name. What's up, Ryan? Steve. Your Popping name will in. Be the game looks like a point experience. Don't stop teasing yeah, me, young it's deceptive. Man. Listen, this may it gets sound like strange. Super fucking violent. But I've lost my memory. And like everybody's Do off. you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> there it is again. Sure. And Such next you'll be telling Steve. me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. I don't. Okay, let's see. Let's let's get let's get moving, man. Let's 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 get some excitement. Um, what should I ask about? Sister Hank Cookies Charity Buy. Um, I, let's see if we tell her. What will she say? Hey, mom. Oh, that's the place. <laughs> Fuck off. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. <laughs> I guess I can't like cuss them out. What the hell? That's not cool. Um. What's something I could say to make her actually respond? I bet if I type that shit in. Hank, that kid over by the television? Oh, yeah. Your little brother is homesick from school today, and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. Is he really sick? Amnesia poop? Look at the show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA charity bake sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. Honestly, skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? I don't it's know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. You're such a kidder, don't Steve. Don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiancé was a gutter mouth? I got a fiancé? Hell yeah, where'd she be? Fiancé? This is fiance. insane! Oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is I mean, all about? Let's see her first. Jitters. Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness She's right super now. Hot. I'm not your like blessings. Back at it Stephanie at all. is great at cooking and cleaning. <laughs> my kind of woman. <laughs> ah, Stephanie. And just who is Stephanie? And just who is Stephanie? Don't She's you your fiance, dare toy with that dumbass. sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiance is having second thoughts about the I game. don't remember everything about this game. Like I said, when I played it back in the day, I was probably inebriated. Um, by inebriated, I mean stoned out of my fucking gourd. But <laughs> I I remember this game being really trippy. I said wedding. Look, all this talk and about weddings is nuts. I'm, I'm pretty not sure I remember the what's ending, going on here. or at least one of them. First I don't know if there's multiple. I remember one of them. It's pretty fucking out there. 
two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out. What ever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. <laughs> Is that a thing? Fine. <laughs> Have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. Ooh, and she don't next expect door? me to write you a note. I'm gonna go next door and give me some booty. Bye, Mom. Don't forget to put the Girl, papers bye. out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Yeah, the little fucker's crazy. What's in here? Cabinet that smells of dirty diapers. Uh, yeah. Don't... Don't have any desire to look in that. Um... Ooh, can I take one of these knives? Knives gleam wickedly in the kitchen's antiseptic glow. Alright, we're leaving the house. Unless there's something else I can do here. Anything else I can do in here? It's not a very big house. Let's go see this hottie next door. She better be hot if I'm getting married to her. Amnesia poop. Yeah. Don't you start with any more of that amnesia poop. Oh, yeah. I want to go back in and check and see if those uh, sneakers, those brand new sneakers for Scotty or whatever his name was. Saddle shoes? Is that them? Saddle shoes with laces knotted together. Can I take them? What are you looking there? What's that? Not shit! Um. Oh. Basketball. You see any shoes, guys? I don't see any shoes. Maybe on the lookout for some shoes. Can I look in the closet? Seven flannel shirts accompanied by matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go check this chick out next door. Stephanie. You never know with the name Stephanie, man. I've known some hot Stephanies. I've known some not so hot Stephanies. You know, it's not one of them names that you can really judge the looks based on the name. Never know. Oh. I remember this maybe vaguely. All right, general store, post office, barber shop. She said she was next door. Podstem residence, maybe that's it. Abandoned house, Johnson residence. Let's go to the Podstem residence. S Stephanie here. Dang, he just busted up in here. You didn't knock or nothing. Everybody got cracked up fucking ceilings though. I know that much. What the fuck? Is that like meat hanging on the wall? Man in the house squeezing his meat. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk to the man in the house. Mr. Podstum. There he is. My future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings the him to the Podstum house? Dom DeLuise huh? knockoff huh? motherfucker right here. I lost my memory. I came over I came over to see Stephanie and Pasti. I mean, Oh, you'll uh, have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. <laughs> Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. <laughs> you know, that's what I said on my wedding day. Can't change your mind at the last minute with all this meat at stake, baby. Father! Well, that's about meat in just a minute. He's clearly He's locked got in a, a room. Meat thing. I hear him moaning. But that's all. <laughs> He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially fuck. about the meat. Yeah, the fine. Talking about some fucking if meat. I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Oh, who's I going guess to my tend dad to the runs meat? The slaughterhouse? I guess as his son, you'd take over. Right? What are we saying over here? Steak! Yes, Alvin, steak. Jeez, this game really is a weird mix of FMV and CG. Yeah, this game's fucking out there, man. And it gets weirder. It gets fucking weirder. Terrific's back. What's up, Terrific? You're back. 
Um, let's ask about meat, because this guy's got a real, like, he's got a thing about some meat. Which, I mean, I get it. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone stuff. needs at least three servings of red meat a day. <laughs> and anyone who says otherwise is a commie. Goddamn commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family, too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. What is all that fucking background Kinda makes up for not getting into the lodge. Sounds like you're next to the fucking ocean or something. Lodge? That's something important. I gotta ask about it. Then I'm, I'm Why are you off. so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. Wonders. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do with. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. What the fuck is this guy's deal with meat? Bye, motherfucker. Let's see, what's uh? Henry earns ketchup salt. Ain't shit around here. Let's let's go in here. Let's see what what the fuck's in here. Go, Steve. Who that? Is that the lady of the or woman of the house or whatever he said? The ice box is locked. I wonder what's in there. Probably some fucking meat. Hello, Steve. Have you flossed today? Hold up. Isn't that... Isn't that the same lady just with a different haircut who's my mom? I mean, like, not my mom, but Steve's mom? That's the same lady. I am pretty sure that's the same fucking lady. And what did she say? You look just like... Oh. Look at... <laughs> I guess I should read before I speak. You look just like my mom! Except for the hair. I'd like to see... What's her name? Stephanie. Um, let's go with the Honestly, mom one first. You men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The hardest charity bake sale is Friday, thing. you know, and by nothing gosh, Mrs. Marvin Poston Jr. can be counted on to do her share. <laughs> Yeah, see, Ryan got it. That's the same lady. It is. Pearls. What, the, what am I <laughs> What are we asking about pearls? Pearl necklaces? Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband at all times. Hell What's yeah. I like this lady. Where's my wife? But I need, you look like I need, She Cleaver. needs to hear this shit. Some kind of sitcom mom. Sitcom? Jeez, you know. I need, I'm home. recording this. It's okay. I'll, 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 I'll introduce her to this. I can't this remember later. how I know that. I'm much too busy with housework sure to watch that'll go TV. Great. Maybe Mr. Poston would know about sitcoms. I'm not listening to shit that they're saying. Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. She's grounded. Okay. Yeah. Bye! I'll give my regards to your parents. Well, of course I will. Bushes are preventing it from opening. Okay, good. Speaking of bushes, let's go see Stephanie. <laughs> How the fuck do I get out of this room? Ooh, she Sorry, you guys. Are... You'll have to ask Mrs. Potsdam for permission to see Stephanie. She's in what? the kitchen. It didn't really give me an opportunity to ask her. Hang on, let's see. Can Hello, I see? Hello, dear. Come to see Stephanie, have you? Yeah. yeah. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. Oh. She's gonna be grounded, all right. We'll have her all over the fucking ground. Give my regards to your parents. Sure will. Gee, thanks. Here I come, Stephanie. You guys see anything wrong with the stream, FYI? Somebody just told me that it looked black. Like it, it went blank, went black. I know YouTube's been having some really fucking weird issues today with streams. Today and yesterday. Uh, I watched a couple of different streams in the past two days, and everybody's been reporting a lot of weird-ass is issues. So, 
On my end, everything looks good. I'm seeing good stream health. Everything's straight. So you guys let me know if anything seems off or picture goes out or anything. Let's see. What are you guys saying before I walk in this motherfucker? Uh, Erwin's here. She would kill you. Who? You, oh, <laughs> I know who she's talking about. <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. She's talking about my wife. She wouldn't kill me. That's a bit extreme. She might hit me. Uh, I doubt she would. Holy shit, there's 11 people in here. What? There was like two people in here a minute ago. Now there's 11. That's a lot for me. Um... Nah, my stepmom would murder him. Yeah, no, she would not murder me. Not with you guys here. She went to you guys like went to the store or the mall or something. Anyway, it's good, bro. Ah, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Which one of these fucking rooms we going in? Several books about red meat. Man, what the fuck is these people's deal with meat? Let's check out this room. Stephanie in here. What's up, girl? No, this is a fucking bathroom. Anything in here I need? The fuck is that? She's pretty. <laughs> she, she pretty. Um, medicine cabinet reeks of various toiletries. Ooh, let's see what's in here. Anything I need? Uh, got a headache? This aspirin should do the trick. Hell yeah. Jar of extra shrink. Aura lube? What the fuck is aura lube? Great for getting in and out of tight spots. Me and Stephanie might need this in a few minutes. Hell yeah. What's this? One hour cough medicine. Fuck yeah, I'm racking up. Warning, yeast disinfectant. Do not... <laughs> not to be used for baking cookies. Oh. Can I take it? I can't take it. What this? What this? It's not vanilla. What the fuck that is? What's this? New zippy vitamins will pick you up. I can pick them up. Tampons! Better ask Stephanie about these. Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, shit! Is that what? Stephanie's grounded? Oh, damn. I <sighs> guess I'm not gonna need that or lube stuff or whatever. Be sure to roll up the tube from the bottom. Yeah. Uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Dental floss, 300 yards of it. Do I not know the fucking dental floss? What's it? Band-Aids. Alright, that's all we need. That's all we can get out of here. I don't know what the fuck I need all this shit for. Let's see what, uh, what we got going in here. Anything else we can look at in here? What's this picture on the walls hanging a bit crooked? Good for it. To oh, what, what's that? Ooh, I flushed the toilet. Look at me. A thin layer of hair coats virtually every inch of ceramic, and the rubber ducky has seen better days. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. This is clearly not where Stephanie is. Um, I hope her hygiene's a little bit higher than the bathroom was. What's in here? I don't like dirty bitches. Yeah, ooh, see? I mean, from here, Stephanie looked pretty good. I'm cool with it. You stay just like that, girl. Now, let me check your room out first. What's up, girl? Who are you? Yeah, what are hey, you doing Stephanie, in my how room? you doing, girl? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. We're getting married. Let's get so, an early start. So, you're the one. You're Steve, the one. isn't it? You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Hey, hey, Just calm the Stephanie, fuck down. Because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those Makes you people cough for downstairs one hour. have locked me in my room. Drink the they say toothpaste. I'm grounded Tampons. until the wedding. Yep. Who are we got here? Hi. Halem? Halem? Wild? Halem Wild? Hey. I. Oh, hey, I'm Wild. Man, I'm fucking. Hey, I'm a retard. Because I didn't read your name right. I thought that was an L, not an I. My bad. Hey, I'm Wild. How you doing? She got sneakers on the bed. Yeah, she does. In the 50s, that shit would have got her killed. Shot. Emma Boohoo is here as well. Hello, Emma Boohoo and Erwin. 
I know you two. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, what are those people? Wedding, grounded, amnesia. Let's ask about this amnesia Maybe thing. my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. Like we're in another, another life. life. Maybe What's we really do live here. Maybe we were together, and the same thing happened to both of us. An accident. Something. Yeah. Neither of us has bumps on our heads, if that's what you're getting at. Have you been Speaking able to remember bumping. anything else? Anything at all? Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Yeah, da da da. Strange, Who cares? Take your clothes off. Images. Liquid, chrome. Probably just a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape? <laughs> Steve was harvest? over that shit. He said, "Probably just a dream." All right, you're moving on. Escape. Escape. I like that idea. Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. That's too harsh. These people are just eccentric. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, yeah, I'm going with of that. Of course one. I'm right. Don't get cocky, bitch. You may be hot, and we may be supposed to be getting married soon, and I may be trying to get a piece of ass right now, but don't get fucking cocky. Uh, Lodge. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned Lodge. This mm -hmm. Order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. Insane bake sale. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always what in this hushed, reverent What the fuck is an insane bake tone. sale? It's a bunch of motherfuckers. Oh, look, it's an FMB! Mom keeps Woo! telling me that women can't join. <laughs> But she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. She's not the only one who wants me to sign That's on it? with the Lodge. The That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. It's a trap! Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. You're really no, afraid of the lodge. probably not. I, just, aren't you? I have a fairly I good feeling I'm going to have to go all up in the all lodge. All lit up at night, and I guess. That ain't scared. all I want to get all up in, Stephanie. That's the exact I mean, same shot I just showed a minute thing. ago. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Oh. I don't really know. Amnesia Lodge. I already asked her about all that. Uh, let's see. I can ask her specific things. You're not making sense. Oh, yeah, girl. You know what I'm talking about. You know I'm making sense. Anyway, Stephanie, you're playing hard to get. It's all right, now. It's cool. Because we're getting married in a few days, and you know how this is going to go down. I'm gonna go check out the rest of this town and see what's going on. But you girl, you stay right there on that bed, just all right there. I'll be right back. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. She has nice taste. <laughs> uh, is there anything I need in this fucking room? She has nice taste. Okay, chip, motherfucker. How do I get out of here? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there it is. Alright. What's in here? We didn't go in there, did we? The closet door won't budge. Alright, let's 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 go somewhere else. See if we can slide past this meat loving motherfucker right here. Look at this. That looks like a fucking goatsy picture or something, but it says it's like a the man in the house playing with his meat or something. <clears throat> Alright, let's let's go somewhere else. We got this lodge thing there in the middle of the uh, town. We can go there. We got an abandoned house. Johnson residence. What else? What else? Uh, Shady Oaks Mortuary. That sounds like fun. Cemetery. Fire station. Wayward Hotel. Police station. Newspaper building. At Edna's Diner, The Lodge, TV Station, Gein Memorial School, like, does that say Gein? Like Ed Gein? 
meat plant. Missile base? Oh, that's where we're going. Post office, barbershop. Okay, yeah, this. I'm, I'm going to this fucking missile base. What the hell's going on here? Yes. What's up with that guy? The fuck? Oh, Colonel. Who goes there? Uh, oh, they tell there? me my name is Steve. All right. The section 21. Yes, terrific. To the missile base. Keep Hell your yeah. distance, son. What's a section I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Amnesiac. Just another huh? draft dodging ploy the way I see it. No, it's but amnesiac. But at least you're not poop. an alien. Poop. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Is Installation. Is he a midget? Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Alvin, I have no legs. Goddamn right they are. <laughs> what was that from? Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I, I gotta no do legs. is hit the button and blam them. I have them. no legs. The price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with nah, the I'm vodka. Stupid. Well, I Our suppose mind. you have, you know. Legs? Safeguards against accidents. Safeguards. They doing a lot of talking. Don't be and such shit. a weak well, sister. There are no action. safeguards. This is the fifties. Then you have sole <laughs> control of the uh, bitch. This is the 50s. missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW two. When I got I my lower torso like, shot uh, off in the war. Fuck up or something. Those calls the missiles in Washington in wanted to, to like stick me behind a desk. To shit. hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They Dusseldorf. owed me. Is that a real place? Of course, they felt that. <laughs> I left after my the legs in Dusseldorf. Call from Germany to England, trailing I guess that's, that sounds behind, very German. I'm gonna go with it. Was too German emotionally question. unstable to continue in the military. That's okay. why they gave me this nice cushy job, and put the me in charge, charge of the nuclear missiles. missiles. Hmm. All right, let's see. Lower torso, but there's a lot to, to, to cover here with this guy. Emotional instability. I don't really care about that. Gummy bastards. Aliens. In, intestine. What? Well, I guess his intestines. Nuclear holocaust. By, let's go with the button. Why let's are you asking it. about the button, son? I'm just a about. little nervous about it. I mean, suppose an accident happens. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it on my person all the time. <laughs> what the fuck? Where the fuck is his lower half? No commie bastard. Oh yeah, that's right. It's back in Dusseldorf. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust and harvest except me. Gotcha. That make you feel better. Um. Let's check, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, look at the commie bastards. Frankly, all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink Hey, I'm wild. Americans. How does he piss? Can you give me any question. reason why I shouldn't shoot you right now? You can't shoot me. I'm an American. I have rights. Fuck that. I'm going hardcore. No, I not really. I appreciate your honesty, comrade. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He shot me in the goddamn head. What is going on here? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what the fuck? I was just talking to the guy and it's like I just blew up the fucking world. Game over. Game over, man. Game over. Because what? What happened? That's what I get for not paying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck I get for not paying attention. Oh my god, it's not gonna like start me out from the beginning, is it? Let's see. Load game. Is there a game to load? Fuck no, because I didn't save shit. Pick game slots. See, this is old school right here. No auto saves. You didn't save. Your problem, bitch. You think I'd learn my lesson after uh, Phantasmagoria? Quit game. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Let's do a new game. I guess. I can't continue. But I guess I could skip through all that shit, huh? 
<laughs> what happened? All right, come on, let's get the fuck. Oh wait, wait, wait! There's something in my room. No, go back. There's like uh, some stuff in here I can get. Uh, I think it's a pen and something. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, what'd you guys think of that? Let's see here. He can't ever get his panties in a twist. No, he cannot. He probably can't get any panties on, period. But whatever. Left my ass off. I assume you guys are referring to how I just totally fucking lost the game and don't even know how. Oh, boy. The world ended. Yes, it did. Um, I don't really get anything from her in there. Uh, box of newspapers. I pick one of them up. I don't need anything from him either. Let's go. Cause I don't think this is one of those games where you have to talk to everybody. If you just go and do the stuff you're supposed to be doing. Uh, give him. Oh no. Let's give him the paper. Hey, Steve. I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, Jimmy Jim. Jimmy James. Not. Isn't, that a, isn't that the hey, name of like Steve, a sub shop? You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. You just Jimmy keep James. doing Jimmy that Jam. and we won't Jimmy have John. any problems. Jimmy John. Jimmy John. It's not Jimmy that's James. That's not much Jimmy to ask, John. is it? Close enough. What? Yeah, man. That's See you later, saying. alligator. See you later, alligator. Wait, I could give him like... See you later, no. alligator. He wanted some shoes or some shit, didn't he? Oh, fuck it. It's a frisbee. The day glow lime space disc stuck on the roof. Can I like... Oh, fuck it. Come on. Let's go. I probably got to get something, come back and get that, and I'll need that for some dumbass shit later. Did I get anything from the Podstem's house? I did get shit out of their bathroom. Let's go in here. I'm going to blow through this shit real quick, and then I'll save it. Because I really didn't like... There's nothing I get for these people. I guess I have to talk to her to get access upstairs. Hello, Steve. Have you flossed today? What the fuck? Have you flossed today? I'd like to see well, what's your name. Well, Stephanie Tell is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Poston has sent her to her room, and in her room she'll stay until Mr. Poston says otherwise. Probably until the wet. Mr. Poston feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around with. She doesn't want to get married me? either, huh? I don't know your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Potsdam. Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No. She's as delighted as... Okay, move on. Can I see Stephanie? I don't see any reason why. Thanks. Give my regards Bye. to your parents. All right. Let's go see Stephanie. Actually, I don't even know if we need to see Stephanie. Maybe. I'll go in there real quick and just initiate some conversations and skip through it all. But what now? This is right here. We got a bunch of shit. I know we've already done this, guys. Sorry you're watching it again, but I mean, my bad. Well, I can't get that. I don't know what the fuck that is. Get that. Tampons. Oh, I need to ask Stephanie about those, remember? Uh, all right, we're good to go. Well, that's what it said. It said, I better ask Stephanie about these tampons. Because I'm a fucking moron and I don't know what tampons are for. Oh, my. Let's go in here. Hey, girl. All right, <clears throat> pimp voice. What's up, girl? How you doing? I'm back. I'm back, girl. Who are you? What? Haven't you heard? You know who I am. You know what I'm here for. You mean you don't know me? You will. I mean, I don't know anyone. You will. Know I don't my remember anything. Name and you just one step, man. Because it, girl, you I can't remember like a damn right thing there. either. Really? Cause here oh I God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. Those no, yo, you ain't alone no more, girl. Here I come. My room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. You know, pretty sure this character is supposed to be a minor. Maybe not. I'm going to go with not because it just kind of dawned on me that she could possibly be a minor, and I'm definitely not a minor, so this whole stream could come across as super creepy due to that. So, Wasn't the intention. But I'm going to go with she is getting married, so I'm going to say she's not a minor. So she is of age, so it's all good. 
I'm gonna get you laid, Steve. Those people wedding grounded amnesia. Let's just click Maybe on my it. Maybe all that. Da, 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 da. Well, We've already heard all this. Well, uh, 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 uh. Escape. That's what? Why the mouse moving? Huh. Escape. Escape. Harvest is a prison. Yeah, of I think you're right. I'm right. Of course I'm right. Lodge. Everything in heart. <gasps> Mom no. keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. Interesting. That's. You think the. I think. That's. Look. You're really. I look. Yeah, yeah. This is the exact same shot. I mean, they look just at have the damn thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you. Masons seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you. Uh, bye, bitch. Come back and visit me soon. Oh, don't okay. worry, like I told you before, I will. I will. Oh, let's get her. Uh, let's let's give her the tampons. Maybe that'll get us laid. I don't know why, but it said to give it to her. Here you go. A, pr a gift from me to you. Use Are you making some seconds. kind of point? Yeah. Keep your shit clean, girl. Or Lou. <laughs> this is the point right here. Right there, girl. Are you making some kind of point? I'm trying to. Shit. Are you taking some kind of point? No, you are not. Take a motherfucking hint. Bye. Okay, let's go. Uh, do we want to go to the missile place? Because things did not go so hot for us last time I went there. <laughs> Uh, not only did I get shot in the fucking head, but we blew up the goddamn world. Seems a bit excessive for... I don't even know what <laughs> what happened. Um, I'm not going to go to that missile place right now. Let's see. We got the Johnson residence. And we got an abandoned house. Uh... Let's see. We've got... Uh... Javi TPM here with us? The epic dab? Sure. The harsh reality of gaming. Talking about the fucking save state thing? Yes, sir, it is. You know, I know you, Alvin. You know, you remember games like this where you just fucking. They're just hardcore, man. Uh, oh, I probably need to save it. Let me go somewhere first. Let's, let's check out this. Is there somewhere more fun than the abandoned house? Where should I go, guys? Gein Memorial School. That <laughs> could try the lodge. I have a sneaking suspicion I will not be able to get into the lodge. I'm gonna go to this abandoned house. That could be fun. Yeah! This looks promising. Looks like the fucking house that Jenny lived in in Forrest Gump. Let's see, let's save this bitch. Save game. Okay. Um, lots of bugs. The attic window is a perfect nesting ground for wasps. Sure. Old car is a perfect nesting ground for wasps. Okay. The fuck? I remember something really weird going on in here. Something about what? There's some weird shit about wasps or something. The ice box is sealed shut with wasp nests. Okay, so I'm seeing a trend here. The one house, it was all about some motherfucking meat, and this one apparently is all about some motherfucking wasps. Let's talk to the wasp lady. You gonna talk? Talk! It's not often that I get visitors. It's I am Tetsu of Crumb. Tetsuo Crow. The ignorant of harvest called me the Wasp Woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. I like the that. I really honey, like that. The Judeo a poverty Christian of imagination. Of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled right pleasure right are all responsible I should probably listen for the prejudice the against talking about wasps. Because last time I didn't listen, the fucking world ended! Wasps. Okay, what was she saying? Honey, sacrifice, pleasure, wasps. Let's go with wasps. That seems to be her Reward thing. Reward the wasp. 
Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and more wasps, nothing more. They spread into eaves and attics, not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper, perpetuating You're talking too much. the most relentless of insects. Isn't that like the game's symbol when that wasp dies? I feel like there's a meaning there. Honey. Honey is not wasp. That's bees. But let's see what they got to say about that. The politics of honey are intertwined with the age-old struggle of the aesthetic versus the commercial. Because I choose to raise wasps instead of bees, I'm frowned upon by the community. Why? Wow, she I talks don't see slow. any particular use for wasps. Why must everything have a use? Is money always the determining factor? More slender, more arrow. The slow. wasp is a joy to behold. It's every like little section she beautiful. Finishes. That she finishes speaking and show that same shot. Isn't that enough shot? to compensate for the little drawbacks? Beautiful and juicy. <laughs> Sounds like my future wife. Her name's Stephanie. Have you met her? Drawbacks. What's well, drawbacks? As you can see, the little darlings do love to sting. Another source of prejudice for the masses. And another uh, reason to love them. Sacrifice to have no Bees are like animals. Blah! No pleasure. When a bee oh. stings, it rips itself apart and dies for its audacity. This appeals to those raised worshipping a god that demands sacrifice. And okay, this shit's getting deep now. But the wasp is promiscuous. They are not as sympathetic to the masses. Moving on. Pleasure. Yes. Pleasure. A great deal of pleasure. Sensual the being. The wasp is a sensual being. Not, not a, a laborer. laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions <laughs> what of ejaculation. What the fuck is this lady talking about? Each painful welt, an act of love. Who was it earlier? I don't know if you're still in the stream. I think it was Ryan with what were you watching, talking about how this game is pretty fucking quirky and out there. That right there, yes, sir. Yes, that, that proves it. This game is fucking out there. Wasp, sacrifice, pleasure, bah! Um, from the sound of it, these cabinets are infested with wasps. I don't think there's anything else I can get in here. I don't really know what the fuck this point of this place is. I can't... Oh, examine the nest. A wasp nest. Oh, well, that's good. Alright, well... At the moment, there's no fucking reason for me to be here, so. Let's go. What's next door? The Johnson residence. Mr. Johnson. Hello, Steve. Whoa. How's the husband to be? <laughs> Look at that guy. Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All Hello, right. Steve. You all right. You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into. If yeah. You haven't gotten into it already. Yeah, yeah. See, Mr. Johnson, Speaking you and me, <laughs> we on the same was page, brown. buddy. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Well, yeah. if I were him, worried about getting my I'd meat I'd be too. more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. <laughs> and you are. <laughs> you always were a kidder, Steve. You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson. Remember? <laughs> Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could use a little relaxation. Is that what we call it now? But You're since Edna's the, not whacking here, whacking the tucker, or I might as the well tucker. talk to you. 
Edna. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. I, I declare. declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. If I was interested, that is. Just because she owns DNAs, she's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, well, she needs a good hard penis. <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> I agree, sir. She needs a good hard penis. <laughs> and what the fuck is going on in the background? I hear like fucking shots fired and like crazy ass turkeys or something. Oh, one of the questions is okay, look at these are the questions. Edna's diner, child, penis. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this game? And of course we're going with penis. What makes you so sure she needs a penis? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Like maybe that damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? Dwayne Dwayne. <laughs> DNA's diner every day from noon to one. Eating his dad gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. He's getting sure it, man. it's he's the only her. diner in town. But I'm sure he's got more in his mind than food. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, do I need to know any of this Edna shit? Fitz Edna Patrick is one oh, of them. I already clicked on that. Edna's child. Karen's only five years old. Five years old. old. Since Mr. Fitzpatrick's Since Mr. Fitzpatrick. Fuck up. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? <laughs> Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in... No, not that. Child. Karen's only five years old. Since Mr. Fitzpatrick passed away, in Edna's arms and legs, I might add. Oh. Edna's been raising Karen on her own. Oh, good old Edna. What a shame. To deprive, to deprive a little girl, a little of, a girl of a role. positive male role model. And her mama of a fine, stiff penis. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Does everything this guy talks about end with penis? <laughs> We're deprived of a fine, stiff penis. <laughs> ah, I can just talk to this guy for the rest of the stream and I'd be happy. I don't know about you guys, but I would be... Me and him, we're, we're seeing, you know. <laughs> Bye now. Uh, can I go? Let's see. This the, the examine the Tucker during the day. Mr. Johnson keeps watch over his precious 48 Tucker. Okay. Can't go in there. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. So we've done my house. The abandoned house, that house, cemetery, shady. We haven't done that stuff. Uh, I guess we could go to Edna's. Let's go to Edna's diner. Or DNA's, because like the lights out, so it's DNA's diner. What are you guys saying over here? <clears throat> uh, it's a nice car. It'd be a shame if something was to happen to it. I think that something does... I think you are supposed to do something to it later in the game to make him, like, flip his shit. Hmm. You might be right. Never ask another man about his meat. <laughs> yes, Alvin Alvin coming in with all kinds of shit here. You savor it. Yeah, you know, I want her to savor it. The 90s games were epic. Hi, Jacob. Sujan JP, hey, what's up? How you doing? Sujan's uh, been commenting on a whole bunch of my videos recently. Thanks for that. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching today's stream. This game's a little bit odd, but is what it is. Uh, okay, let's go in here to Edna's. Let's see what's going on in Edna's or DNA's. Oh, there's Edna, and according to Mr. Johnson, she is the one that is deprived of a nice, stiff penis. <laughs> I can't wait to go back and talk to that guy again. Let's talk to Hi, the little girl first. Karen. What are you Karen? doing? 
playing. My mom is working, so I gotta stay out of her I hair. I feel like this kid's gonna Wanna get play? super creepy at some Not point. Not now, Wanna maybe play? later. Okay. Bye bye. I'll kill you in your sleep. What's oh, up, Edna? Steve, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? No, she's gonna say I'm a kid. For a second, I thought you were Mr. Johnson. <sighs> <laughs> Mr. What Johnson! Would you like to order? He wanna give you this penis! <laughs> you know me? Watch, I gave you the first thing she says, Oh, Steve, you're such a kidder. Sure. And my name's Edna Fitzpatrick. I'm not the one with amnesia. Then you believe me. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <laughs> so what the I fuck guess I've soldier. changed. I'm not kidding. Now, Steve, faking amnesia won't help anything. If you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. Well, I'm 18, so I guess she's 18 too. That means she's of age. The stream just got legal again. Karen, Stephanie, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson has a a liking for me. He sure the hell does. I call it a crush, but that's too innocent a word. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. <laughs> He's never gotten insane. over being rejected by the lodge. And there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every day at noon. Oh, it's unwholesome, all right. Uh, what's going on? Ah, uh, let's see. Emma Boohoo, hi, Dad. Uh, hi, Emma. How are you? Please notice me. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> if anyone's wondering what the hell is going on here, Emma Boohoo there is uh, my daughter. So she's in the stream supporting... Uh, sometimes odd games are the best games, Terrific says. Yes, they are! This one is really fucking out there, though. I'm waiting for shit to really kick off and happen here. Let's see. Lodge. Let's the, lodge the Lodge is the repository of all wisdom. Repository you should join wisdom. the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. And soon. Why? For God's sake, what is it about this place? The wheat ripens and waits not for the scythe. The farmer who waits too long, it were better that he use the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. Senpai will never notice you. The harvest moon <laughs> wanes and then comes winter. An empty belly, the body sun's belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What the does it benefit is... a man oh if he God. gains right. his soul and loses the world? I feel like some missiles are about to go you off when you get shot in the head and the fucking world's going to end again. I need to Before save it again. Some weird ass shit's late. going on. Oh. Mr. Edna? Johnson may have been right. I think Edna does need well, some penis. What happened? <laughs> Were we talking about Boyle? Or was it Karen? Hey, Erwin! Yes, you're my daughter, too. I didn't minute. realize you were still I'm here. sorry. Erwin is my daughter as well. She's in the chat. Running Say hi, Erwin. Hi, Erwin. Forgive me. Though it does seem kind of weird now. I'm playing this game talking about penis all over the place while my daughters are in the chat. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Postmaster Boyle. That's a Though new I name. I see them together a lot. Boyle and the sheriff never act very friendly towards each other. Almost like there's some kind of bond between them besides friendship. Though what it might be, I can't imagine. Maybe Sheriff Duane resents the fact that he's never been able to get into the lodge. Well, that's not Boyle's fault. He just hands out the application. Moving on. All right. Bye. I'll stop by anytime, Steve. Sure will. I need to punch something. All right. I, I need I need something to do. What do I got in my inventory? All this shit. None of it makes any. Um. Let's get the fuck out of here. 1955 Frag 100 with a real leather seat. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> What's next? Let's go somewhere else. Let's see. Man, I need something to happen. Something to happen. Sorry. Wayward Hotel. Let's go to the mortuary. Man, there's some weird shit going on there. I guess I should go to the lodge. Let's go to the lodge. Because I'm running out of... What, what time is it? How long have I been going? Oh, just a little over an hour. 
Yeah, let's 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 uh, cause I said I wasn't gonna have like a super long one tonight. Let's go check out the lodge. The lodge. Everybody's been talking about it. Let's see what's up. But hey, it's the guy from the cover of the game. I think. Only initiates me. Did you say something? Oops, I skipped it. I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. Telepathy. But how? Only those who seek enlightenment. Dude, I need you to stop touching me. Anywhere. To hunger for true knowledge. Uh, what kind of knowledge? Yes, I'd like there to join the lodge. There are always obstacles to the path. You must first fill out an application to be considered for <laughs> initiation into the mysteries. Paperwork? Why should I fill out a stupid form? No, you're giving the application. Applications are available at the post office. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Master Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Then right, I just fill on. it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month. All right. As it is we have his rules. We have finally we gotten. Do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. We have finally gotten a direction to go in. Yeah. Alarming green sledge oozes from the train. Okay, that's great. Uh, what's that? Examine the hole. Red eyes gleam from the eerie malevolence from the dark. With eerie malevolence from the darkness. Sure. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. We need to go to the post office, which was right there. Uh, let's go talk to the post office or postmaster. What's that? Examine the cup. Crushed paper cup with smudged lipstick on it. That's really random. I feel like we should pick that up. But it's not an option. All right, let's go in this motherfucker. Who is this chick? She looks real sketchy. Examine the woman. Let's examine Postmaster Boyle first. Yes? I need some help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do well, for you today? Talking. Oh, I'd like a lodge application, bitch. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Well, can I go get one at the lodge instead? Come on, it won't kill you to make a lousy copy, motherfucker. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. We must adhere to our standards. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. It's a fucking copy, I'm sorry, dude. you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an well, application. We got in here now. The line Let's is see. always long, and they are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. Jada, I think that's you. See you tomorrow, Mr. Jacob. Yes, you will, from what I understand. That's Jada, by the way. Yes, thank you for that confirmation. Watch his... Does it say cutely? Could be acutely. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Like I said in one of my other streams, I wear glasses, but I don't wear them on camera because they glare, and they made me look older. <laughs> She'll see you at 1 to 2 p.m. tomorrow, Dad. Language? What language? Don't tell me about my motherfucking language. This is my house. F words. Oh yeah, tons of them. I can say them. My kids can't. He's a free man. Yes, yes I am. See, that's why I like your friends. Anyway, moving on. I didn't hear shit that dude said. What did he say? <laughs> what? Um. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. What the fuck? Okay. This... Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain, rain nor sleep nor rain. snow nor hell shall. Okay. Well, that's great. I don't... See, Next I should... time you post, don't I have a bad habit code. of that. I get, I get like, sidetracked in these games and don't... I, I, I don't listen to what the fuck they're talking about. Let's see. Let's talk to this chick. A blind woman is trying to read her mail. The fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with that? 
Can I go over there? Can I can I do it? No, she's just trying to read her mail. Just roll with it. Get like maybe read it for her. What what do I do? How do I get this lodge application? Uh, what do I have on me? Uh, a quarter, a pen, Astro Lube, vitamins, cough medicine, aspirin, quarter. Can I use a quarter to? That interests me not at all, young man. Maybe I could like print. I don't know. Do they have printers? They don't have like zero copiers back in the fifties. All right, moving on. Well, we had a direction to go. Now we do not. Um. Uh, well, what are you guys talking about? There's stuff going on here. In the chat, he's a free man. I am. Tell him what? Tell him, furry artists. Okay, you guys lost me there. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. You talking about some motherfucking furries or some shit like that? Not into furries. Sorry, dog. A uh, wooga wooga. Ha ha. I'm a baby who can swear word. I think not. A Wow, there's like a conversation going on here that I am just not included in. It's all good, though, because I have no fucking clue what you guys are talking about. <laughs> all right, let's go over to the general store while we're here right there. Um, He's too busy working to notice you. Let's go inside this mofo and see if there's anything in here. Can I help you? Phelps? Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. Shaw. I'm serious. I need Pshaw. some help. Yeah, Steve's ahead of a hell well, of a they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. She looks like Judy Dench. In which Dench. case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then I again, they Major say Dench a good had to scare come down to can jog the moon. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Don't know. Haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? <laughs> I ain't got a fucking money. I got a quarter, lady. A fucking quarter. What the fuck am I going to buy with a fucking quarter? Sure. Just what point you got? to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. What do you got? Examine the shelf. The shelf contains a variety of odd items for sale. Okay. Can I buy a gun? Ooh, a cigarette. Hmm. FYI. Many, some of you probably don't know, I recently quit smoking. But yeah, that cigarette looks real nice. But I will not be deterred. Nope! I don't want it! I don't want it! It's, 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 it's calling my name, but I will not give in to temptation! Whew. It's all good, though. We're just gonna block that. I'm not gonna look at that. Anyway, what do we got here? Got some tape. I guess, what is this, some fucking beans or some shit? Adult magazine. Hell yeah, we're coming back to that. Um, wrench. Some shit. What is this? Coffee cans. Soup cans with fucking... Soup cans with a skull and crossbone on the coffee can. Look, this is the adult. An adult magazine for 25 cents. You must pay Miss Phelps before you can buy anything. Guess what I got. What, let's see what's... What's this? Cans of soup or possibly rat poison. Uh-oh. Guess what we're walking out of here with? A wrench. Slightly used wrench. How much is it?
How much is this t tape? Do I need tape? Well, shit. What? What? I'm just gonna give her money and then like. Hold on. Let's let's go in. Here. Let's 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 give her my 25 cents. Cause I'm balling with my quarter. Hmm. The only thing a quarter will buy you is an adult magazine. <laughs> That's the only motherfucking thing I wanted. Woo! A girly magazine? Why, Why Steve, Steve? I'm surprised, I'm surprised at, you. at you. I'd expect, I'd expect that, expect that, sort, that of sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darn if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Well, you don't know my wife, because well, I ain't sell married. Me one? I certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. <laughs> what? What the fuck to say? <laughs> Look at porn, because it steers you away from being a fireman. All right, so uh, did, she, did she sell me the magazine or what? Oh, I got the magazine. Hell yeah, let's go to like a dark corner or something and look at it. Let's look at it. Use magazine on. Ooh! You think Mr. Johnson would want it? Oh. What are you guys talking about? Shut up, you have an Android. That my fault. Your phone fell in the toilet. You're just mad. What the fuck is going on here? You're not supposed to smoke. No, I'm not. I'm not smoking. Thank you. I said I was looking at the uh, cigarette in the game and just brought back old memories. Let me think about it. But I'm not going back. Stop. Oh, okay. Cigarettes are bad. They are bad. They are very bad. Um, so are adult magazines. No, no. Those aren't bad. <laughs> Those aren't bad. What? You're married. I am married. No. What? Dad. Oh, what's going on there? But anyway, moving on. Let's see. Let's see what, uh, exit. Let's, let's, let's go. We got to give this magazine to somebody. I'm going to say it's going to be one of the youths in the game because that's how fucked up this game is maybe the old man maybe the old man let's see if we've been everywhere here but post office barbershop I haven't been to the barbershop let's run to the barbershop real quick and see what's going on there then we're gonna go back to the house and see if we can find that paper boy and maybe we can give him this magazine or or my little brother from the beginning of the game I bet he'd like it Pastor Relly's barbershop let's see what's going on in here is that a midget Mr. Pastor, really? Oh, I'm looking forward to talking to these two. Let's see here. Let's talk to Mr. Mr. Pastor. Really doesn't respond. Not understanding English. Oh, okay. Well, howdy, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's howdy the back, guy Mr. from uh, fucking. Uh, well, Steve, don't you pull my old leg now. David Lynch show and movie. Change your mind uh, about that Picket room fences. and siding. Picket fences. What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into fences? buying some. He's been in some David Lynch shit. It. That guy's and I pseudo can't famous. Stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding keeps it warm. What's in going the on summer, here again? Cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. The fuck are we talking about sheep and aluminum siding for? Pastor Relly's a rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons how he followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. What the fuck are we talking about? Plumbing? I'm really confused. I feel like I missed something. Well... I seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game, so I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. 
You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. What are we doing here? What are we tell you? Awkward. This is so awkward for me. I'm gonna tell your dad to put you in time out. Stop screaming. Adult magazines, bad. Nah. Hentai. <laughs> Hentai's not bad, it's just fucking weird. Japanese tentacle porn. Uh, don't say that word. Twin Peaks! Yes, Alvin. There's Alvin with the knowledge right there. Twin Peaks. I was saying Picket Fences. I think that was a show, too. But yes, Twin Peaks is what you're talking about. That guy, I'm pretty sure, was in Twin Peaks. If not Twin Peaks, he was in some David Lynch shit. Because David Lynch all the time got some midgets in his shit. Uh, not in his shit, but in his movies. You know what I mean. Picket Fences was after Twin Peaks. That That's what I thought. But they're not related, right? I don't think they are. Anyway. These NPCs are concerning. <laughs> Yes, they are. I'm, this guy, I'm looking forward to talking to him. Bye! Nice to weird? see you again, Steve. You too. I, I guarantee this guy, before I click on him, he's going to talk something like this. Hi, Steve, how you doing? <laughs> I guarantee it's going to be some shit like that. Ready? Ready? Bet! Well, talk. Why did... <laughs> oh, shit! I did not mean to do that. I just like, did I kill him? I think I just killed that guy. I hit the wrong button and I punched the fuck out of him. Who the fuck am I? Iron Fist or something? I punched him one time and like his fucking throat exploded. What is going on in this game? But hang on, let me talk to this guy and see if he talks like that. Hello there, youngster. You say them aliens I was telling you about? Well, they came back last Close night. Close enough. I Cutting fucking told you. But how about that dead body on the floor? How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic hmm, bowl without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastor really did? Yesterday, he gets an he alarm system died. to protect That's what he his did. pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. His pole? Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Brought it all the way over from Italy, wrapped all special-like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. But he thinks it's the be-all end-all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. So who in tarnation would want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Maybe them I aliens. I feel as if we're gonna need oh, to steal that pole at some point. Oh, be ignorant! Them aliens don't give a fuck. Who we got going on here? No colored glass. You think you're faking build spaceships? They can't make a bad gum barber pole. The arm Turns bends backwards. Don't know nothing about science. Aliens. I don't really want to talk to this guy. Anytime, anymore. Steve. He was just trying to clean. I know, right? I fucked his world up. What is going on here? Uh, can I? I'm sorry, man. What the fuck is going on with this game? What is this shit? Can I? Is there anything else I can get in? There's nothing I can get in here. I killed a motherfucker. It takes a true sportsman to hunt down these those dangerous cows. There's an alien. An unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mounted on a barber's wall. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see here. I know this is not the most exciting. Fancy pole secured to the wall with a straight slot screw. Oh, okay. So I need a flathead screwdriver. That's what that's called. Not a straight slot screws. A flathead screwdriver is what I need to get this off the wall, because for whatever reason, I'll fucking need this at some point. Moving on. All right, so that's that was the purpose of coming here, apparently. What the fuck is happening? Oh, because I killed him. Oh, man, is the game over now? <laughs> oh, wait, maybe it's not over. What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that? Attacking? So I killed that motherfucker. Around. You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. 
Boy. What the fuck? Somebody help me! <laughs> what do you people want from me? What the fuck is going on here? Right for that boy. Somebody help me! Ain't it, Sergeant? What is going on here? It happened again. I blew up the world earlier and got shot in the fucking head. And now I accidentally punched somebody, so I'm being put in the fucking electric chair. <laughs> what in the fuck? That's what is that? That's like a fucking radar. Okay, so I guess you can't go around punching people accidentally. It was an accident. Jesus Christ. I clicked the wrong mouse button and I just punched the shit out of that guy. And I got I got the fucking chair for punching him. Even though, granted, it did look like I punched his fucking throat out. So there's that. Oh, man. Uh, how long have we been going? Going an hour and, a, an hour and 35 minutes. You know, I'm probably going to... I don't know. Should I keep going? Should I go a little bit longer? Because I'm going to have to redo some shit. Let me see. Where did it leave me off at? I can't remember where I last saved. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> oh, shit. You know, I'm going to... I don't know if I'll come back to this one next week or not. I'm not going in that house. That that lady didn't tell me shit. Uh, I did like Mr. Johnson here. He was the best part of the game so far. With his talking Hello, about Steve. penis all the time. How's the husband <clears throat> be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. Yeah, I'm probably gonna cut it off here in all a few right. minutes. I'm probably you trying. Be ecstatic. I'm gonna blow through some of this you shit always... because I already talked to this guy. And he's uh. Edna Fitz. You know, what makes you penis. so sure she needs a penis? <laughs> you saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Woo! Like maybe Oh, what's going on here? Damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne! He's over at DNA. When are you Stanley ending the stream? I want to put my computer one. back upstairs. He oh, come on. Really? Pod. You gonna call me out on my you stream know, for that shit? <laughs> he'd like Edna for dessert. Sure, it's the only diner in town. But I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. So once again, the stream has a conversation going that I don't think I'm a part of. It's all good. <laughs> all right, let's uh. I'll admit DNA. All right, dude. Bye. Bye now. You don't really give me nothing. Oh, watch that fucking right hook there, Steve. Got you put in the fucking electric chair last time. Uh. So yeah, where else did I go? Did I? Go? I didn't go there. I think I went. I went to the lodge. I talked to this guy, and he's like, oh, you must go to the post office to become a fucking person of the lodge. You must yeah, and I, paperwork, fresh, false, stupid form. Wait, let's try this one. Members of the Order are privy to many. Such as? They know what the trees whisper to the wind to make it howl. They know what the worm knows as it squirms in a rotting leg. They know. <laughs> what, what the fuck does that are. mean? No, I think I can live without knowing that stuff. <laughs> when you find the path, true. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to go to the post office? Have you obtained an app? Not yet. If you would find knowledge. You do or not. Alright, come on, let's uh We didn't really get anything from Edna's when we went there. She talked a little crazy. We'll go over here to the post office. I'm talk to this guy, he's gonna tell me to fuck off that I can't get a Yes. I need some postmaster. Like lodge application. Mm, sorry. No, come on. Sorry, son. You must you have one around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, same well, yeah. I do. Well, I can get one at the lodge instead. Come on, it won't kill you to make it lodge. Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post. I'm so, sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as a anyone month. else. 
And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very mm. important that I get in quick. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. All right, bye. Next time you post. Shut the fuck up. Let's see. A blind woman trying to read her mail. Yeah, ain't shit else I can get here. All right, so then we go right over here. <clears throat> to uh, exiting exiting areas, bitch. There we go. Okay, so the stream is talking about like joining a cult. And how it's inappropriate. Kitty Cat, Emma, and Nico Jet. What the fuck is going on here? What is happening? Anyway, um, I'm going to the barber shop where I committed murder last time. And we're going to go in here. Uh, talk to this guy. He didn't speak English. Talk to this guy. Howdy, Steve. Yeah. Pete Swell. What are you talking I really pester. Okay, I'm asking this about pastorelli. Pastorelli's a plumbing. Well, bye. Nice to talk to this goofy motherfucker. Right about here is where I Hello, killed his youngster. ass last time. Say, like, how come I never seen the melee? You know what? Why, kind of that brought it all the way over from Italy. Wrapped all right, right, right all like. over from Italy. It ain't nothing but maybe them aliens, Clem. Oh. Uh, alarm system. I think I went need to know that at some point. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang it, he crosswired it through the fire sprinkler. So now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Aliens. Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human. So you gotta be extra careful building your- What the you fuck is going on here? You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. What? You think you can get one of those at a swap meet? This game is so fucking weird. Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. All they do, their crop doodles, with zap guns you turn full, don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out Who's the being field. inappropriate? Well, you listen to Clem Parsons yeah. if you want to tag an unearthly hey, I'm being. Wild. Uh, Lay across the one void, one wondering what lies beyond all the time. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I'm getting out of here. Anytime, no Steve. I'm gonna need to steal this thing at some point, I realize that. Moving on. Um... So, okay, this is where I left off last time. I checked all this shit out. Okay, I've checked everything out up here. Last time I went to this missile base, I blew the fucking world up, so that's probably not a good idea. Meat plant, Gein Memorial, TV station, nothing is police station, fire station. Fire station, something makes me want to go there. Ah! Shady Oaks Mortuary. Let's go to the fire station, because why not? But while we're here, let's see how long we've been in here. We've been in here going on an hour and 45 minutes. I'm going to give this stream. <laughs> Did you hear that in the background? Actually, I'm probably going to call it there. Yeah. I'm kind of getting the hang of it. I'm kind of getting the hang of uh, the, the direction of the game. So, 
I might do this one next week. I don't know. I, I, I didn't have like a concrete plan of what game I'd be streaming next week. I got a few. I got quite a few games I can do. Think about doing something like <clears throat> double switch, kind of like my night trap one last week. Um, it's hard to really engage with that double switch. We're doing something like night trap or double switch because they're so fast, it's hard to really like go and keep up with the comments. Dog got hit. Yeah. I'm the dog. I know. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I know not a lot's been going on with this one, and it seems like, what the fuck is this game about? I know it gets really out there. Um, really fucking out there. Overall, though, if whether I come back to it next week or not, let's, let's, uh, let's, did I save it? Pretty sure I saved it. Let's try again. I may, like I said, I may come back to this one next week. I may not. What do you guys think? You guys aren't listening. It sounds like you guys are having your own conversation in my chat. But, uh... You want to see the rest of Harvester? This strikes me as a game to where, like, I'm... Probably going to be able to blow through the rest of it fairly quick. Um... So we're going to quit out of this for now. But yeah, that's Harvester. Um, <clears throat> it's worth, I mean, if you're into those adventure games, like I've been playing on my channel, like Phantasmagoria and even like the Sam and Max and Bioforges and stuff like that. And the dig, that's another good one. If you're into like adventure games, Harvester is just one of those. It's just got that more FMV realistic, uh, aesthetic. But if you're into those, yeah, check, check out Harvester. It's pretty cool. It's worth it. Um, I don't know how exciting it was to watch this on a stream. A lot of these, uh, FMV adventure games um, that aren't made by Lucas Arts are a little bit of a drag at first, so you know, maybe not the best choice for a stream. That's an idea, though. Maybe next week I will either do this one, finish it out. What are you guys saying? Well, there's a lot going on here. This is the most activity I've ever had in my stream. <laughs> I think everyone likes it too because she kept laughing. Kept laughing at what? It's funny. Oh, shit. I can't keep up! Do it. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Uh, dog get hit. I'm a dog. You deserve it. Never mind. I want to see Plateria. Oh, or Animal Crossing, to be honest. Oh, no, nah, dog. Uh, yeah, no, not so much. Animal Crossing, not my thing. I tried that Terraria game. Um, I mean, it seemed okay. Just, I don't know if I'm going to do a stream with it. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. I, was, I did come across a game the other day. I downloaded it a long time, and I never played it. It's a very popular game. Um, I know all about it, but I've just never played it. I own it. I've owned it for years, and that's... Uh, fuck. It just escaped me. Holy shit. It's that really... It's it's yeah, like the 8-bit art style. <sighs> you fucking kidding me. It just escaped me that quick. Uh, it's that really, it's a really, really popular game. Um, it's fucking crazy out there. Shit. There's a really popular, um, the, the, like the music from it's really popular and it had a, it's, it's part of the Beat Saber Mega Mix song. What the fuck is the name of that? I can't remember. Yeah. Undertale, Undertale, that's the one. Yeah, Undertale. I've owned that game for years. Never played it. Um, that might be something I do on here, but that doesn't really go along with this stream. This stream's supposed to be more like old school, cinematically inspired. So I'm gonna try and stick to that. But who knows? At some point, I might do something else. Last time I tried doing something else, though, i.e., Killer Instinct, the whole fucking stream didn't work, and we spent an hour and a half of just this right here of me talking, more or less like a visual podcast. Yeah, it was a fucking disaster but i left it up look that shit up if you want a good laugh and not because it was funny because it's sad anyway um <clears throat> harvester if you're into these adventure games sure check it out you can get it on gog i got it on uh gog some years ago and i think it was cheap then so i'm sure now it's next to nothing i don't know how much it cost uh, i've owned it for quite a while i uh, played this when i was a kid uh but maybe next week uh <clears throat> instead of doing one of these more obscure 
adventure games from my childhood, which was a lot of the games I played, <laughs> admittedly. Maybe I could uh, do maybe one of the LucasArts adventure games because they, they were, they're all cinematically inspired and they're definitely from my childhood. I had a really good time with those, like the Sam and Max, the Dig, uh, Full Throttle. That's an awesome one. Grim Fandango, which is one that I didn't play as much when I was a kid. played it a little bit, but I do own it. So I've actually never played through that one. That one, just drop my water. That one might be interesting, um, but Full Throttle, that, that's a fucking awesome game. But all those types of games, and they do move at a much quicker pace than, or not not quicker, a lot more happens in them. They're more entertaining to watch, I think. I think. I remember it being more entertaining to watch. But I remember this game being more entertaining to watch, too, until I started playing it and being like, fucking hell, this is slow. Anyway, that's what I got, guys. Um, there's nine of you in here. Thank you very much. You guys are amazing for coming in and watching me. Or being involved in this this thing that's going on in my chat. Either way, whatever reason you came here, I appreciate it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, this was not quite as exciting as I had hoped. But what was here, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, why the fuck does Apple keep asking me to install shit on my computer? Fuck off. Um, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed looking back at it. No, I didn't really talk about the game and the quality much as playing it, but I mean, it really, it's it's an adventure game. What more is there to say about it? It's just like any of the others. It's a fun enough game. I mean, I wouldn't pay like a shit ton of money for it, but as cheap as you can get this game nowadays, hell yeah, it's worth a good five to ten bucks. Why the fuck not if you're into that kind of game? Um, it gets super fucking violent and gory and out there later on. I know that. I remember the ending. And the ending is really kind of a mind fuck, and it was like a clever ending. It, the ending is one of those things that does kind of like make the game more memorable because of how it ends. But anyway, yeah, there's that. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, uh, tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock a.m., my review of uh, the number 26 in my video game movie review series, where I review every single video game movie ever made in release by or in order by release date uh next in line is 2008's max Payne, starring mark Wahlberg. uh that'll be up at nine o'clock in the morning check that out friday an american pickle that review should be up probably a little possibly a little bit later in the day because I uh, won't have access to the movie until tomorrow, so the review will be shot later tomorrow, and depending on all that stuff, we'll see how that goes. Um, later this week, I honestly can't remember what I got going on. I got, like I said earlier as well, I got a couple of reviews that are just kind of standing by that could release at any time. Um, yeah, I don't know what else big is coming movie called Pay Dirt. Next week on the stream, next Wednesday, probably, I don't know, maybe the rest of this, if I don't feel like putting together a whole like lobby waiting thing and graphics and all that, just want to jump back into this. Or maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. Whatever uh, seems like fun. That's why I do this. Um, that's why I do this every Wednesday, not to get views. I mean, clearly not. Look at the views to these things. I'm, <laughs> they don't get a lot, but just trying to have a good time and have fun and show you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. There's six of you left. Oh, we just lost a whole bunch all at once. The six of you here, seven. We gained one. Everybody who's here, you're saints. I appreciate you hanging out. Um, whether you just got here or you've been here the whole time, thanks for watching. Uh, go check out my channel for more uh, reviews on movies. Not games so much anymore. But... Lots of movie reviews, and I do this every Wednesday. Come by and check it out. Um, I will try and have something a little bit more exciting next week. And, uh, yeah, that's that. I do appreciate all you guys hanging out tonight. It has been real. What are you guys saying here? Anything new? No. Do it next Do it next week. I like the game. So do, okay, 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 okay. Go to Lodge. It's funny to see you react to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. Well, some of you are saying you like it. However, two of you in this stream that are saying you like it, I feel as if you may have ulterior motives for saying that. Hmm. 
Anyway, I'll either do this or something else next week. Whatever I do, I will do it Wednesday evening at 9 o'clock. Lobby opens up at 8.30 as usual. Come by, check it out, and we'll see what's going on. And I forgot my little spill. If you liked what you, if you, <laughs> fuck that all up. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And I screwed that all up. Let's just get the fuck out of here because I'm screwing it up. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We will see you next week. Peace. <laughs>